if you come to El Salvador, you're going to see the real Salvadorian life. Yep. This is not a Tulum or Costa Rica. Exactly. Like everything is made for you to look like um, pretty and blah, blah, blah. No, this is the real life. Like the real raw yeah, yeah. Salvadorian experience. Yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from El Salvador. Today I'm with Salva once again and we just got a real chill video for you guys. I'm gonna touch base on one of the topics that a lot of you guys have been asking about and that is safety here in El Salvador. So today I'm with the local. For those of you guys who haven't watched any of the previous videos, please go out and check them out. We just created a, an incredible series from here in El Salvador, visited the entire country pretty much <laughs> and yeah, enjoyed it to the fullest. So yeah. make sure to check out the series. That way you can get a little bit more um, yeah, details of who we are and why I'm making this video for you guys. So today we're gonna talk about safety here in El Salvador. As you can tell, we're on the beach. This is pretty much the vibes here, especially as a tourist, if you're coming to the coastal towns, you're gonna spend a lot of the time on the beach, just chilling. And well, Salva, man, thanks so much for taking some time off the weekend to nah. join me for this video. Um, so I have a couple questions for you, man. Right. People are worried about safety here in El Salvador. People, um, yeah, keep asking me about tattoos, about solo females, about um, safety, safety in yeah. general. I know. So um, let's go ahead and just ask the first right. question. Man. All right, let's do it. So how safe is El Salvador for travelers? You've been doing this for over six years now here in the country. How safe is this country for travelers? Um, the worst thing that can happen to you is that you fall in love with the country and then you don't want to leave. Okay, I can see that happening. Like, like that. And Chris, you have been here for like two weeks already? Two weeks. Man. Dude, I came here wow. with a, a, we have been here five days with you. Wow, it's crazy. And that's what happened. Like, I know you have watched a lot of news about like uh, the problem with the gangs that we have, but all the touristic places are super safe to go. Chris won, uh, Chris saw, like we went to different places not only here on the beach area, but also we went to colonial towns. Yep. We went to volcanoes. We went to the lakes. Man, we went to the big city. We went to San we went, Salvador, we the went capital. To, yeah, we went to downtown San Salvador and it was fine. Okay. Yeah. El Salvador is just like another country. Like mm -hmm. if you go to Mexico, man, there are cartels in Mexico. Man, and there's that's what we were talking about earlier. There's yeah, crazy like, things that happen in Mexico that yeah, literally yeah. have never happened in El Salvador. Yeah, yeah. Yet people are so scared to come yeah. to El Salvador yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because they think like, I don't know what, they think like it's a I, war zone out here. I, I think I don't it's know. more about lack of information. Yeah, you know? and what we talked about on the social media a lot of times and on the news, they only share the bad news, the stuff, the dangerous yeah, things yeah, that's yeah. happening, and that's because, well, bad news sells. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, a week before you came, we had a group of, like, six people, a family from LA, and they were, like, so scared. Like, they were, like, we wanted to go because El Salvador is, like, a place that we really want to go. Like, we have seen pictures and videos, and I was, like, come over, I'll, I'll take care of you. And we showed them the whole country and they were like amazed, you know? Wow. They were amazed not only because the beauty, but also like our people, you know? Our people is super friendly. Yeah. And uh, they never felt like, you know, like scared of like walking down the street with the cameras. They had iPhones, um, cameras, and they were super fine, you know? Like it's, it's just like, you need to know where you go. Exactly. Basically, and you know. um, right now, the way that the country is right now, guys, I'm not going to get into politics too much because I don't know a whole lot about it. But right now, man, the country of El Salvador as a whole might even be one of the safest places in Central America, the way that things are going. And um, another thing that you have to keep in mind as well is that if you're worried about gangs and things like that, you man, you're not going to see those people on the streets. They're not out on the streets right now. They're yeah, hidden somewhere, hidden somewhere, hidden somewhere. you know? They're, you're never gonna come across that situation yeah. here as a tourist. Yeah. You coming here as a tourist, the only thing you're gonna find is volcanoes, beaches, lovely people, <laughs> and amazing Salvadorian food. So let's just go ahead and squash that right. right off the bat. All right. Yep. Now, the second thing that everybody keeps asking me about, man, are the tattoos. The oh. number one comment I get right now is like, <laughs> yo, if I get to El Salvador, I'm gonna get arrested because right now the president's arresting everybody with tattoos. Oh. And guys, like, look at Chris. I've been walking around <laughs> in a tank top, okay? <laughs> Everywhere. Even in the city center, I wore a tank top. Yeah. And I was worried about that. Remember when we got there? I was like, Salva, should I cover up my, t should I t uh, yeah, put on a t-shirt? I remember that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you were like, 
dude, relax, man. And I'm like, dude, what if someone thinks I'm a gang member? Things like that. He's like, dude, you, they know who is a gang member yeah. from a mile away. So, yeah. like, the army and the police officers, they can see it like miles away if you're like related to gangs. You know, the way you dress, the way you speak, yeah. the tattoos. You know, it's. It, you, you don't have to worry about it. Like if you have tattoos, um, you come to El Salvador and you'll see that everything is fine. So don't worry about it. And most of the people that you're gonna find in like these hippie towns, I'm not oh, yeah. even joking, dude. Yeah. They got face tats, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a bunch of tourists with face yeah. tats here. Like, yeah, just tattoos everywhere. So you have nothing to worry about as far as tattoos is concerned. Now, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're in a gang in Los Angeles and you got gang tattoos all over your body, you know, it probably won't be the best idea to to come out here, but I still also don't think that you're gonna run into any problems because you'll obviously show your passport, you're gonna be showing that you're a tourist, and you'll be fine. But that's where I would probably say is a gray area. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry about tattoos though. Come on out here, have a great time. Now, um, the other common question, man, is it safe to travel to El Salvador as a girl? Because oh, yeah. I don't think I can travel there as a girl on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, what yeah. do you think about that one, Salva? Okay. Actually, I have a response, uh, an, um, a message on Instagram. Uh, I'll share it with you so you can put it there. Okay. Like, we get these messages like every week. Hey, like, we would love to go to El Salvador, but I'm a solo female traveler. How safe it is? Um, you got two options. You either come to El Salvador or you stay at home. Like, what do you want to do? And then if you come to El Salvador, and this is based on our experience, uh, we have tourists, like female travelers that are alone. That's the way they want to do it. And you're, you're going to be totally fine, okay? Now, we have clients that they say, um, we want to hire you to go live because we want to feel more safer, right? And, and we take them and we explore. We are super professionals and they have a great time. But also we have people that they just message us saying like, sorry guys, um, we just want to get information yeah and then we help them and, and and if you message us and you want to know like how safe it is have to move from one location to another one uh, I can send you information about like uh, what number like uh, what time the bus pass mm -hmm. where you should be drop off uh, things like that and you can explore the country using the public buses okay I've noticed a lot of the travelers are traveling On around a public street, yeah you have seen right so Here's the thing, if you know where are you going and you know what bus number you need to take, you'll be fine. Um, even me as a Salvadoran, there are places that I wouldn't go. Of and course. you as a tourist, you will never end up there because you need to take like three buses in order to get there yeah. and there's nothing to do there. So And you're going to go way out of your way to get there. Exactly. And people will be like, what are you doing? Here? Why are you, you know? going yeah, there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And another thing is, it's man, keep in mind guys, there's places I wouldn't go into in LA. There's places I wouldn't step foot in in Mexico. There's places I wouldn't even dare cross foot in in Thailand. Things, um, there's, there's stuff that happens everywhere. There's uh, dangerous places everywhere in the world. But please, don't characterize El Salvador as a dangerous country because of its history, of its past, and not really looking into the country as it is today yeah. because it's so much different. It's so much more different than it was in 2013 and 2014. Um, this country is amazing. It's booming. And you better get down here now before this turns into the Quintana Roo Coast in Mexico. Yeah, because that, it's that, not far. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, if you come to El Salvador, you're going to see the real Salvadorian life. Yep. This is not a Tulum or Costa Rica. Exactly. Like, everything is made for you to look like um, pretty and blah, blah, blah. No, this is the real life like the real yeah. raw yeah, yeah salvadorian experience yeah. and yeah. it hasn't been altered yeah all the restaurants you see on the main street um the small businesses man all of them are owned by local people like it's it's still very much yeah. Yeah. a local beach town vibe here and you're gonna find that everywhere you go in the yeah. country even the most popular towns you gotta remember el salvador hasn't been the prime tourist destination in the world ever and yeah. and so the, even the most popular touristic towns are still very very authentic full of yeah. culture yeah now oh go ahead no no i was going to say like let's talk about some positive things yeah, about yeah, yeah. like coming to el salvador right of course so um yeah with all the negative 
that really I haven't seen at all, just the negative comments that comes from the people. Man, this country is amazing. It has so much to offer, incredible beaches, incredible mountains, volcanoes, um, lakes that are just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Clean lakes. Clean lakes, yeah. yeah. Um, man, it offers a little bit for everybody. I mean, just an hour down the road, there's a place called Naui Beach House where you can literally go and hang out in a beautiful resort and just ride horses all day long and chill in the pool. There's a there's a place for everybody here. Now, yeah. um, for those of you guys who are interested on in coming out here to El Salvador, we actually have a little surprise for you. <laughs> Sal and I are planning a group trip um, at the end of the year. So plenty of time to start planning and to you know reserve a spot. But we're gonna be planning a trip the first week of November this year. And we're gonna be bringing 10 of you guys with us to come and join us on the ultimate El Salvador experience. So um, what are we gonna do in that week, Salva? So basically seven days in El Salvador and uh, we're gonna be exploring the whole country, but mostly we're going to connect with our local culture, gastronomy. So you have a break from your regular life. You come to El Salvador, you enjoy the beaches, you enjoy the volcanoes, the lakes, food, the, the weather in November is so nice. November is going to be amazing. October is the, is the end of the rain season. So in November, the weather is super nice and everything is green. The waterfalls, they have a lot of water, so it's oh, great man. to go and explore. So yeah, okay. that's the best time to come, to be honest. Cool. So we're, we're planning this trip at the best time of year for you guys. So if you're you know, scared to come on out here alone, you've never traveled outside of your home country before, it, whatever the case may be, <laughs> this is going to be the trip for you guys. We're going to have a trip of a lifetime. We're going to spend seven days running around El Salvador, climbing volcanoes, enjoying waterfalls, and yeah, just having a great time. And the best part about it is you're going to be doing the trip with both Salva and I. So you're yeah. going to have, well, me as a person that's been here before to, you know, be there and join you guys. And also, you know, it's there's nothing like going to a place and seeing a familiar face yeah. that you've seen before. Yeah, so absolutely. we'll be meeting each other. And of course, we'll be with Salva, the local expert. And yeah, guys, we have nothing. You guys have nothing to worry about. It's going to be the most amazing seven days you've ever had in your life. So you got time to, to get your passports. Okay? Exactly. Don't, so you don't have passports. <laughs> so if you don't have a passport and you want to start traveling, this is the trip for you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and leave the link to uh, Tunko Life's website down below where we have the whole itinerary planned out for you guys. Um, feel free to send us a message with any um, questions you have, reservation details, any questions you have. As we mentioned, Salva is always an open book. You don't have to message Salva just for booking a tour when you come to El Salvador. Send him a message and he'll be more than happy to help you out. And even if you just want to meet Salva when you come here, man, we can have some beers, dinner, some pupusas some like, pupusas <laughs> anything <laughs> so yeah guys i hope this video cleared some things up man i hope it was nice comfortable relaxing for you um salva thank you so much Not for enough. showing me your beautiful country enough. and i'm so glad that we're going to be bringing enough. 10 people with us to come and explore yeah. el salvador with us and i hope little by little every year we can continue to make a strong impact on this country yeah. and continue to promote it the yeah. way that it should yeah. be yeah, yeah, yeah. in a positive way. Thank you for um, connecting with me and show the world what El Salvador is really about, you know? Yeah. Um, and videos like this is what we need online because the media is always showing like the negative things. Of course, that sells, but also we have these beautiful videos where we can really show you El Salvador the way it is. So you, the way it is. So you have a better perspective of, of what to expect when you come to El Salvador. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, man. Yeah. And um, real quickly, I do want to let you guys know that I was in the same position many of you guys are in. If, if uh, you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling scared, just curious about what it's like down here. That's exactly how I felt. That's how I got in contact with Salva. I sent him a message and he assured me, man, purchased the ticket, everything's gonna be great. I showed up here for a five day trip. I've been here for two weeks. Sadly, I'm leaving in a few days, but that's the way life works. You gotta keep on moving. We gotta get back to work. And we gotta wait till next time, yep. man. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to check out Tunko Life on Instagram. I'll leave it right here and their website down below. And I'll see you guys in November here in El Salvador. Woo! Later Bye. guys.